it's Kimberly Day here again and today we're going to do a really exciting video and I'm going to show you how to save money on doing your beauty treatments at home. So I'm going to show you how to tint your eyebrows at home and it's very easy, very simple and very cost effective. Now don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need the colors so I use brown and I also use graphite when I'm doing my eyebrows you can buy light brown black and blue black in these colors but I find the light brown goes a little bit too orangey on me so I go the normal brown with the graphite which I'll explain how I use the graphite later you also will need is the activator this one gets mixed with these you will also need a bowl filled with warm water, cotton pads, Vaseline, or I'm going to use pawpaw ointment because I've got no Vaseline left, cotton buds. You're gonna need a few of these. Okay, so let's get started. When when you're mixing it up, you can use you can mix it up in anything. I just found this old lid. I'm just gonna use this because you can throw it out. So, we're going to use the brown. So as you can see, I've done this a lot of times. So Thousand Hour has something like a kit. You can buy it at like Priceline or Hair House or Price Attack, any of those sort of stores. Um, they're around sort of $18, but when you do that, you're gonna have to buy well, I would have to buy, because I'm going blue-black on the eyelashes, I'd have to buy one kit. And obviously, with my skin tone and my color hair, I'm not going to go blue-black on my eyebrows. So then you need brown, and then I'd also need graphite. So it works out a lot more cost-effective. Um, these do last a really long time, so I would just go this way. Much cheaper in the long run. Okay, so you've got your brown here. So it works out to be one part of this, to two drops of this activator. So one part would probably be the size of a pea. So I always mix up way too much, but I'm gonna mix up that much. So that's probably about a five cent piece. So with the graphite, I add graphite because my eyebrows, they're really quite orange. I'm naturally have red, orange hair, copper hair, so any of my hairs, they tend to throw a lot of warmth. So it's the same as when you color your hair. So say you've got blonde hair and it's quite yellowy, you use a purple shampoo. Well, when you have too much copper in your hair, you'll use a blue shampoo. So graphite is classified um, as an ash. So an ash counteracts, so it helps remove any copper. So I always put a dash of this in, not too much, but I find that way they don't come out real coppery. Otherwise I've had them done before and they haven't put the ash in there and the graphite in there and it just, they come up oranger than they are. So they're like a brown, but they have a real strong copper to it. So I probably put about that much. So it's like a little pea. So that's it there. With that there, I would probably put about three to four drops of this. Shake it up. One, two, three, four. So that's it there. So what you're using your pawpaw or Vaseline or barrier cream or anything like that, I just put it on the back of my hand. So you want something that's a really, even like coconut oil, something that's really quite thick. And you know how Vaseline or pawpaw cream you put on your hands that it's really hard to get off? That's what you want because what it's doing is it's actually making it so the dye can't stain your skin underneath or above. So if you accidentally get it somewhere, you don't end up with a big, say, blue-black stain under your eyes, which I have seen in the salon before. People haven't put pawpaw or Vaseline underneath when they've been learning and someone comes out with blue-black right under here, which doesn't look good. It looks like you've been punched in the face. So, then we'll mix all that up. Um, I always, when I'm mixing, I make sure I get it um, to one of the corners like this. 
and just mush it all around because otherwise especially when you're mixing two colors together um, you'll find that if you don't mix it well your eyebrows will be a little bit patchy with colors so what you're going to do then is I come back with a cotton tip put some of say your Vaseline on there and you're going to put it anywhere above your eyebrows where you're not going to put color and underneath as well otherwise if I tint extra hairs under here it's just stupid I'm gonna be walking around for a week with all these extra hairs here so then come back with your color and I'm going to then put that all over the eyebrow on the shape that I try to achieve so when I've been going to the threading lady lately we have been trying to grow them a little bit thicker because I went somewhere new a little while ago and they took them too thin make sure you get all of the hairs it will stain your skin underneath a little bit but I find that's quite good because it's like you know some people get henna on their eyebrows I find that it gives you that sort of effect so it doesn't bother me if there's a little bit of staining then come back and just come underneath like that because that gets rid of anything that's underneath or anything that you've got and it hasn't gone to plan we'll find like the lighter your hair is the faster that they will take so I find it's better to not leave them on like some people leave them on for like 10 minutes or something but that's when you get a lot of staining so I find if I do it this way so paint it on then I come back with another one and clean it up and then sort of after five minutes I'll tend to come and remove it and then I can always go again I can always go darker but if you've got light eyebrows and you've ever had a problem with someone making them darker you'll always do it this way when I was in high school um, I went to a hairdressing salon and they did my eyebrows and they did them black and they actually colored my hair it was probably as nearly as light as this and I had black eyebrows so going from no eyebrows to black eyebrows the next day at school was terrible I ended up getting um, toothpaste and I got Ajax and I got everything trying to scrub them off nothing helped but I did have very red eyebrows the next day for school I'm sure you have a towel handy as well now we're going to take these eyebrows off so you've got your container of water cotton ball and you just lean your head to the side squeeze this out and just wipe them off now they will if you do your eyebrows and think oh I think I might want them a little bit darker but I'm not sure don't go darker because doesn't matter what they'll always go a little bit darker you look in the mirror the next day and think okay yep glad I didn't go any darker because they always go darker okay so now we have eyebrows this one will always be a little bit darker because you started with that one so sometimes I'll come back and just put a little bit more on this part here because that's a bit that I always find doesn't take as well that's when I'll come back and this is why you don't throw this out or get rid of it until you've taken the color off and checked it because otherwise you have to start again so come back and put it on that bit there so you can do it as many times as you want because you've got enough color mixed up so it, you're better off taking them off a little bit early if you're not sure and checking it especially when you're learning because you don't want to have black eyebrows you want them to be a little bit darker but not too dark because in my opinion I think it looks a little bit ridiculous so this has probably just saved me about $18 so in Australia it's about $15 to $18 to have your eyebrows tinted so that's probably saved me about $15 to $18 so I think that's pretty good so and the more you do it the better you get make sure that you've rinsed them really well because the color will get a little bit darker and you don't want it too much darker right, now eyebrows are done done now guys don't forget to follow manufacturers instructions on all the products I highly recommend if you haven't ever had your eyelashes tinted or your eyebrows tinted to definitely do a patch test with any new products 
just to make sure you don't have any allergic reaction. Hope you've enjoyed learning how to do budget beauty treatments at home and let me know how you got on trying it at home yourself. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.